Just while we're at it. All right. Um. <laughs> Okay. Next artist we're going to be presenting is um, Julio. Julio. Julio Rios. Julio. I love you, Julio. I love you a long time. Sucky, sucky. Julio is an artist. A cell. Self-proclaimed artist. Not proclaimed. He's boy. wonderful. Boy. He's excellent. He's a wonderful person. All right, enough about you. Uh, oh, it is about you. Damn. All right, all right. Julio Rios. Um, he's gonna talk about his art because it's very, very special and different, and he has created it's. It's his mind works in very strange ways, and he expresses it through art. So he's gonna explain uh, his stuff. Those mannequin heads up on the wall, all the way over there, that's Julio's work. So he is gonna explain to you his inspiration, why he did it. Oh, where did you explain it? Because you don't talk, we in record now. This is Annabelle, there's always true and everything. She's in YouTube, she's taking guitar. Uh, it's one day in a month. Yeah. Hello? I haven't seen her for so long. Hi. Say hi to Helen. Good, how are you? Hi, um, I'm Julio. Uh, I guess she already told you that. I'm not really good with speeches, but um, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, basically, you know, this is a great place. I actually met George uh, about a month ago, and um, we just started collaborating and doing different things, and I've learned a lot since I've been here. I've actually been doing, um, I've been an artist for a long time, but I started making artwork about a year ago, because I was, I'm actually started doing that and learning about it recently because I'm a makeup artist. But um, the message I try to portray is I just, it, it's, it's too much to go into depth, but I, I want society and people to kind of wake up and, and not be so asleep and kind of see things for what they really are. So um, if you're interested, I guess I'll explain to you later round one. Uh, but thank you so much for coming. I appreciate your support, not just for me, but for everybody here. And just check us out. There's classes here, there's everything. These people are amazing. So thank you so much. Emilio. Emilio. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, this is delicious. Anna, oh, that's Anna. There you go. Don't forget the chef. Incredible. Incredible. She went up in a restaurant. And maybe she's gonna do something successful. <laughs> and by me, okay, my the administration. Artist, we will be presenting tonight. It's myself. <laughs> <laughs> you have art. You have art here. That's Anna. Look at Anna here. The features. The, the butterfly. Okay. My inspiration. Seriously, I didn't know I had art in me. I'm gonna explain a little bit how we created flame art, just so you understand how I have discovered a little bit of uh, the artist in myself. Okay. Um, listen up, guys. Very interesting information about me. <laughs> All about me. She made the food. Now. <laughs> okay, so basically, when I met George uh, eight years in January. <laughs> oh my God. Eight years in January. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be eight years in, uh, next month. Okay, when we met, he had an, a studio in his basement uh, apartment. Park Avenue. It was basically a studio to live in, quote unquote, and an art studio because he did everything there. I have a phone in there. I love it there. But then I came along. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> then I came along and he was always a great artist, but he didn't present his work outside. He did it as an entertainment, as something interesting and something to to, you know, concentrate on other stuff. And he exercised and ate well, <laughs> painted. He had a very interesting life and then I came along. 
So a couple of years went by, we opened another kind of business, we, it went very, very well until the contracts weren't coming, so we closed it down, which was a good uh, opportunity to open this. We started here on 83rd and Kennedy, and now we're here in 8404 Kennedy, and it's gonna be about three years, and as you may see, this is a very, you know, nice place it's been successful this year 2010 has been a big year for me and george as well and in 2010 all these wonderful artists that you saw and will keep seeing now that i'm going to be presenting all these artists came to us this year 2010 has been grand so thank you very much for the opportunity to, uh, to make a difference in, in society Okay, the next artist we're going to be presenting is Pepe. Uh, Pepe! Pepe Le Piu! And Pepe Vasquez Pepe Le Piu. is uh, going to inform you of his creations. He, his wall, part of his stuff, is also uh, here. All here. A little bit here, a little bit over right. here. Right. And uh, he's going to be talking to you about this is Pepe Art, this is the one that he's talking now, this is his art, that's a Pepe, the one he's going to be talking, the one, when, the one you hold in the wall, that's Pepe, the guy going to be talking now, yeah, you hold it, what's happening, you going to feel? Pepe is a graphic artist. Everyone to leave their email address. And a five dollar donation at the door. Just kidding. I just wanted to repeat everything I've been saying all night. Um, basically, I, I came to Flame around June and July. I wanted to get back into uh, Hello, my, my graphic arts, printing, and uh, there's nothing else like this in the town of North Bergen. So. Uh, Automatically, I came here looking for uh, some assistance, some inspiration, and um, I've got a few more paintings to work on. George wants me to do butterflies and sunflowers. <laughs> and what was the other thing I got to work on? Um, sunflower, butterfly, um, and, and box. Butterflies. I but butterflies. butterflies. I, if I don't do a butterfly painting, my daughter's name is Brittany. I call her my butterfly. I'm pink. But I'm pink. Oh, and something with pink. Yeah. Pink? Yeah. I've got to do something with pink. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why exactly, but I, I better get started, you know, before the end of this year or something. But um, I, I've, uh, you know, regained some confidence in in my um, old graphics field, which I was in before I was uh, I, I got into computers. And uh, he has inspired me to do uh, a lot of paintings, but uh, I still have that graphic style. And uh, mine are over there, starting with the Don Quixote, and uh, probably the only digital prints that, that are uh, in the show. Right there, to the left. And uh, a few... Uh, the Don Quixote, the, the yellow and blue. And the uh, painting of the light bulb there. So I thank you guys all for coming out, and for... Uh, you know, for uh, uh, taking the time out and, and for the, the support that you've given us. Thank you very much. Woo! Woo! I love you, Pepe Le Pew. This is the guy that would sing that song, right? Yep. And David's going to sing. Okay, our next artist we will be presenting our last. David. No, 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 no. Manny is our last. Oh, Manny! Artist. Manny! This is our musician. We're going to be. Manny, Manny, settle. Come on, Manny. Manny is our last artist. Manny has done wonderful art. He's the last Mohican. The last Mohican. Hi, guys. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to be here with front. George and Adam. Uh, next to the Donkey Hope in the front. Very, very I'm nice. It says M.A. on it Thank and you. a little uh, copyright signal. That's all his stuff in the back on your left. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, Manny is going to now talk about himself. Yes. Yes. Hello. Uh, I'm pleased to see you all tonight and contributing in this great art movement. Um, 
I'm just an abs uh, lyrical expressionist, abstract artist, and um, I came up in the clubs. I used to DJ in studio, Paradise Garage, and uh, I love the hip hop movement. I love grunge, rock, <laughs> and I turned it into visual art. I turned music into uh, poetry in the visual. So I really appreciate. My son's a rock drummer. Uh, he's got a new band, Blue Fruit. <laughs> so uh, he's gonna be playing at Maxwell soon. Um, but I do it for the people, and I I've been doing art since I'm four years old, and I'm glad it's finding a world market. And, um, it helps Latinos and it helps that world. Thank you. Love you guys. A lot of love. Thank you. Now we will present. Now we will present to you our feature artist of the evening. He is our music teacher. He does piano and guitar. We love him. He's wonderful. His family is wonderful. He has a gorgeous wife and a beautiful four-year-old boy and he is our art uh, music teacher here in flame this is his band big applause Well, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming, especially, you know, familiar faces, which I see here, starting with um, my, uh, one of my best friends, master of choreography, Alex. Thanks to Alex. Thanks to Alex. We got here, um, uh, another friend. We call him Lara, master of the drumsticks. <laughs> Thank you, Lara. Mr. Butterfingers, <laughs> an old school friend. This is uh, Jonathan. I want to thank you. <laughs> this is my beautiful wife over here. Oh, yeah. We got another, you know, helping us out here. Uh, singer on the way. By the way, these are old students of mine. Old students, which, you know, they had the chance to play over here, thanks to you. I want to thank all the students that are here, that, you know, actually came to uh, see me. They asked, you know, they came as they promised. Yeah. I want to thank, thank all the artists and um, the, the person that made the food, which is delicious. Thank you very much. Anita. And uh, what else? I want to thank the audience. Thank you very much for coming. My name is David. David. Let me know if you need some music lessons. <laughs>